And why are we talking about Caitlin Clark? Because she was a big reason for the huge turnout and viewers on TV for Sunday night's game. Nearly two and a half million people tuned in to watch Caitlin and the rest of the Iowa team take on Louisville Sunday. I was one of them. And according to the show Buzz Daily, that's more viewers than any NBA game on ESPN this entire season. Women's basketball is on the rise, and Gordon went out to find more about it. These high TV ratings for women's basketball may come as a surprise for some fans, but here at the Tucker Center for Research on Girls and Women in Sport, they've been saying for years that if you give women's sports more exposure, the fans will follow. The game was great. I was glued to the TV. Dr. Nicole Lavoy is not only the director here at the Tucker Center, she's also a fan. All the numbers are on the rise. Compared to the NBA, women's basketball is on fire. The NBA game with the highest viewership on ESPN this year happened on March 5th between the Knicks and the Celtics. Around 2.1 million people tuned in. For women's basketball, three of the four games in the Elite Eight this year had higher numbers. According to Sports Illustrated, across the entire tournament, viewership for women's basketball is up 42% over last year. For men, it's down 6%. Why is all of this happening now? What's driving this? I think the change is, is a couple things. One is athletes themselves have taken more a part of marketing and promoting themselves through social media. I think two leagues like the Big Ten are investing in women's basketball. The Big Ten League is the first in the country to hire a position specifically in charge of women's basketball. And I think fans are realizing that women's sport is exciting. And their star power with players like Iowa's Caitlin Clark leading the way. She's got the it factor and people love her. You know, Caitlin Clark is a show and people are attracted to that. Mary Roan certainly is. She's an Iowa Hawkeye alum from 1984 who lives in Eden Prairie. I've got all this excitement and nobody at work cares one bit. I work around a bunch of people who do not care about sports unless it's hockey. She's so into it that when the score gets too close for comfort, she sometimes has to leave the room. Vacuum, clean, watch things on Twitter and come back. And I did that a lot on Friday. Just to settle your nerves a little. Yeah, for some reason, leaving the room and not seeing what's happening calms me down. She'll be watching on Friday, and so will Dr. Lavoy. I'm going to the Final Four. Flying down to Dallas to see the games in person. And that's ultimately what she believes is driving most of this success. Money. If there's something to be sold, companies and fans will line up. The secret's out now that investing in women's sport is a great return on your investment. And when brands and industry and companies invest in women's sport, they are seeing a lot of return on investment. And it's very possible that we may see even higher TV ratings on Friday when Iowa takes on South Carolina, which is a very good team with a very loyal fan base. So this could only be the beginning.